Okay, so chickens. Hello, Rabbi. Hello, Rabbi. How is everybody this morning? Good. Good. How are you? I am fine this morning. All right, it's just you, Miss Levitt Maroney. All right, let me see something. Why is my view changed over here? Hmm, I don't know why it's changed. All right, well, we just have to deal with it today. No, no, I don't see. Let's see. Nope. Nope. All right, let's start us off this morning. Yeshua is going to pray. The Lara's are going to do the Shema. And Yeshua is going to do the Ten Commandments in English. Start us off, Yeshua. Shema. Very good, Yeshua. Very good. Everybody give him a big hand. Big hand. Oh, big hand for Yeshua. All right. Now we're going to start an another uh, law today. We're going to start another law today. Let's see. Uh, who should we have read? Lev had her hand up already. Lev read Shemot 22, verse 2 and 3. Shemot 22, verse 2 and 3. caught in the act of breaking in is is it if a thief if a thief caught in the act of breaking in is beaten to death it is not murder unless it happens after sunrise in in which case it is murder it is murder a thief must make restitution so if he has nothing, he is to make himself to to be sold to make good the loss from the thief. Thank you, Lev. Very good. Very good. All right. Now we're talking about. Uh, <coughs> now let's see what a let's see if we know what a thief is. Let's see, Arlena, what is a thief? Arlena, what is a thief? Um, mm. 
As we can see, you're just eating your breakfast this morning, and your brain is not engaged to the rest of your body. Okay? Wait, Benjamin. We'll see if you ate this morning. We're going to try the smaller kids at first. Okay, mute yourselves there. Hadassah, what is a thief? What is a thief, Hadassah? Thief like a... Thief means like a robber. Well, well that is good. What, what is a robber? What does a robber do? He, he steals stuff. He steals stuff. Very good, Hadassah. Very good. See, Arlena? Okay, Hadassah told you what it meant. Okay, can you repeat what Hadassah said, Arlena? A thief, like a thief goes inside your house. Like a thief. And like, if he steals something. Oh, steal something. Is that nice? No, that's not any nice. Don't yeah. you want the thief to come in and take your stuff? <clears throat> yeah, it just, get, it just take your stuff and get money. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, now we got to... And then look at another word. All right, another word. Okay, let's see what is our vocabulary. Okay, what is our vocabulary? Okay, now let's still work in verse 2. Breaking in, Yeshua. What does the word breaking in mean? Breaking in, Yeshua. Breaking in, you break in the you you come and break come and you come and break the door that's breaking in. Oh, you break the door. You don't use your key. Robert doesn't no. have a key. No, nope. you just break the door. All right, oh, very good, window. very good. Or oh, the window. What'd you say? Or oh, the window. You can break in the window or the door. Very good, very good. You can break in the window or the door. Okay, now we're going to look at Lev. You're now your next, Lev. It says, unless it happens after sunrise. What is sunrise? Look at the pictures. Describe to me sunrise. Lev. The sunrise is bright and it's it's a bright day with like it's a bright day with the with the trees and the sunrise comes up um after the moon goes down. When the moon goes down, then the sunrise comes up. The sun comes up, and that's called sunrise because the sun is coming up. Do you know what direction the sun comes up in, Lev? The north, the south, the east, the west? The east? The east? The east is what you put in the br in bread. The east? Oh, the east. Very good. The sunrise comes up in the east. So let's look at our picture because we actually have bright, beautiful sunlight today. No rain. Yay. We're going to start building an ark. All right. All right. So the, the sun is coming up in the east and it sets. Benjamin, where does the sun set if it comes up in the east? West. Very good, Benjamin. Did you eat your breakfast this morning? I ate the same breakfast. I ate um, I ate eggs and turkey bacon. You had turkey bacon? Yes. All right. So your brain is operational. 
Yesterday your brain was not operational. Today your brain is operation, re, operational because you need carbs to run your brain. Okay, now Benjamin. Benjamin, no, wait, wait, we'll go to younger than you. Marlies, Marlies. Okay, yeah, unless it happens after sunrise, which is, is murder. A thief must make restitution. Marlies. What is restitution? What is restitution? It means you have to pay back what you stole. Why does he got to pay it back? Because he stole and did a bad deed. It's not nice to steal? Well, you know when somebody's stealing your apples? Terrible to hmm. steal. It's terrible. Why do people steal, Marley's? Do you... What, what's your thought on that? Why do people steal? Maybe because they're, maybe either that person probably could have done something bad to them, or they, that person has something the other person wants, mm. or, or like the robber that is dead just for no reason, it's just a habit. It's just yeah. a habit? Can I they steal off habit? Can they break the habit? They could if they, they could break that habit. Okay, that's very good, Marley's. Everybody give Marley's a big hand. She got it right on the first hit. Big hand, big hand to the camera, big hand to the camera. All right, now Marley, Marley, Miss Marley. The next part about this, before we talk about murder and if it's not murder. If he doesn't have any way to make restitution, he's to be sold to make good for the loss. What, what do you think that means? He himself is to be be sold to make good the loss for the theft. He's like a servant now. He uh, cleans, he works as a servant, a slave. Mm. Well, is it a slave or a servant, Marley? Marley, Marley. Slave or servant, Marley? You know, let her answer, Puzzle Cube. It is a slave. Is it a slave or a servant? Slave. Now, what's the difference between a slave and a servant, Marley? Slaves aren't that treated well. Some are, some aren't. And a servant is more of serving the master. And slave. Well, your dad, your dad goes to work at the bank. Is he a slave or a servant? Um, a servant. And so, what what makes him not a slave? He comes home. Well, do, do, does the slave sleep in the master's house, or does he sleep in his own shed that the master gave him? We've stumped Marley. Okay, Marlies wants to. She's got her hand raised up. The difference between a slave and a servant is a servant is hired and a slave is bought. Okay, we're getting closer. The slave is bought. Okay, does the slave get the money? No. no. Who gets the money? Well, the servant gets the money because they were hired. So the slave doesn't get any money? Yes, because they were already bought. Oh, very good, very good, Miss Marlies. Lev has got her hand up, Lev has got her hand up. The servant, he, if he has rights, he gets paid. And if he gets sick, he can take a day off. And if he and if he um if he wants to have a vacation, he can do that. He he basically can do anything like of his own opinion. But but 
the law. But the slave, he doesn't doesn't have any days off. He doesn't get paid. He get if he get he doesn't he doesn't um get to take naps. He doesn't um he if he gets sick he doesn't even get to take a day off. Or if he wants a vacation he won't even be able to take it off. But since that happens, I think why it happens is because I think it's because the servant is higher than the slave. The slave is the is like the lowest percentage. The the servant is like a little higher than it. And the servant is a little higher than the slave. Because he gets to take days off, and he gets paid, and he gets to take naps. Okay, okay, we're getting good. We're getting better. Okay, Yeshua, can you tell us more th about the difference between a slave and a servant? The slave is weaker than the, than the servant. Say that again, please. The slave is more weak. What do you mean the slave is more weak? It doesn't get paid. And doesn't get to rest. But at the seventh day, you let it go. Yeah. Can the slave leave leave his job or her job? Can the slave quit? No, it has to keep working. Okay, very good, Yeshua. The slave has to keep working. Benjamin, why can't the slave leave quit the, quit the, quit his job? He doesn't have rights to. He still has to pay off what. I Maybe, like, so if he was a TCCL, he has to pay off what he did. Benjamin, that, that's very good. Now, Benjamin, do you think we should go back to doing this, that if somebody steals something, they should become a slave? Yes. Yes? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, because it's not going to be... It's not gonna be fair. Cause like, what if they get caught? So you're not agreeing with God? You're saying you're saying you got a better idea than what Jehovah told Moshe? Well, I'm not disagreeing with God. What'd you say? I'm not disagreeing. Oh, I think. I think that they have to, like, the thief has to, has to pay off what, what he did. He has to pay off what he did, but he doesn't need to become a slave? He has to, because like God said, if he can't, so if he stole one thing, he said that he has to give him, like, didn't he say he has to give him like back five of that five of those things for ten? And if he couldn't, and if he couldn't afford it, then he would have to become a slave and pay off his debt. So do you do you agree with that or no? Yes. All right. What do, what do you think, Leia? Uh, should I, should the, the 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 guy have to make restitution or no? I think. I think yes, he has to because it's right and that's what God commanded and if God did it, then we have to do it. So there's really no argument in that. So I, I would agree that the servant must make restitution. Well, what if he doesn't have money? So do you, do you agree with this slavery stuff? Um, yeah, because that's the that's the consequence the thief gets. 
for doing that sin. And, um, yeah, that's what the thief gets. If the thief knew that God is not, doesn't agree with, um, stealing, then, and he goes and do it, then that's the consequence of his action. Okay, that's a consequence of his action. What do you think, Allie, Allie May? Do you think the thief should have to become a slave, you know, just because he stole? Yeah. So, what if he doesn't want to become a slave? Well, it doesn't matter because he stole from that person. And if he can't afford to pay back, of course, he's going to have to be a slave because then he'll have to work to pay off the debt. Well, people say slavery is bad. Yeah, well, also, theft is bad, too. Stealing is bad, too. Stealing is bad? Yeah. Why, you don't want somebody to come and steal your bicycle? No. What if they need the bicycle? You can go get one. What if they uh, need some food? They can get a job and go get, and go get enough money to buy food. So, what, then if he steals some... Shouldn't he just go to jail, or should he have to be your slave? I think they should be slaves. Okay, let's see what Mr. Puzzle Cube. Mr. Adrian, what do you think, Mr. Adrian? Do you agree with uh, the, the guy steals something, he should become, and he doesn't have the money to pay back, he should become a slave? In my opinion, I, I would be thinking different communities, different rules. Now, I understand that it is God, Jehovah's law. That gives it a higher priority. Yet, how I see it is, that was the best for the Jewish community. Though we should definitely put that law into high regard, being that it came from God Almighty himself. I think it could, it, it may work in our society. You don't think God's rules are for everybody? You know, for people in uh, China, they should have different rules. People in Brazil should have different rules. People in America should have different rules. You know, no, you know, I'm just God's thinking rules. because it's a different community, granted that it is still God's word, and so... It doesn't exactly mean that even if it's maybe not the best, that it shouldn't be at least considered. I mean, seriously, it's God's word. To put that in high regard. Well, if we we put it in the high regard, don't you think we should apply it even if we're not Jewish? I mean. It should probably be one of the highest priority laws. What if somebody what if there's somebody were to come in and steal your computer? Well, you, imagine they were would, a servant would, to you. Would you like that? Not really. What if somebody were to come in and steal your car? Well, I mean. I don't have a car, but I mean, considering those things are thousands of dollars, yeah, I'd probably be pretty mad. The family car, the family car. Okay, what if somebody were to come in and steal your 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 your, your cell phone or your computer or your sister? Don't you think they should have to pay back what they stole? Yeah, they definitely should do that. They they really should. What what if they don't have, what if they don't have the money? I mean, remember, they're going to have to give the stolen goods, and if they break anything, they have to pay for that, and then they have to give extra because they caused, because they did the act. Well, what if they don't have it, Mr. Adrian? 
Well, I mean, in our society, they would go to jail for a couple years, or until they can pay the fine. What, why? Why? Why shouldn't? Why shouldn't we have them as slaves? Why? Why should the government have to take care of people? Why shouldn't we? You, they, if the person is caught and you know convicted, okay. Why shouldn't he have to be your slave? You know, he comes in, he steals your dad's car. Now your dad has to walk to the bus stop, or you got no car, or they come in and take your computer. Now you got no computer. Or they come in and take your refrigerator. Got you know, you got no refrigerator. Why? Why should I have to suffer because somebody else is an idiot? Well, I mean, granted that in our society, and I reckon even in the Jewish society. They would be giving the stolen goods back, but I mean, there's still a, a, a amount of time. It. If he sold it, you know, the guy came in at night and then he goes, "Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, I, I got, I'm gonna get me, get me that stuff there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it to." Well, I mean, I hope, hopefully, the police would be able to track them, and then they would be able to pretty much reverse the transaction, giving the guy back his money, while also allowing me to get my PC back, but if I don't, I'm going to get refunded the price by the thief for the item, but then I can just use that money to buy another PC. Well, okay, let's, okay let's let's take this out. I'll get to you in a second, man. Let's, let's take Adrian's Adrian society uh, out to its end there. All right, so Adrian, how much is your PC worth? Well, considering the number. parts, brand Just new. Give me a number. Probably... Just give me a number. Just give me a number. Considering everything brand new, it would be about seven hundred dollars. All right, so we have seven and a. Okay, so um, Mike stole your computer. No, Bob stole your computer. Bob stole his computer, and he spelled his name backwards. Bob. Who spells his name backwards? I'm trying to trust you, Bob. Bob. Bob stole your computer, and he sold it to um, to uh, John, but John only paid three hundred dollars for it. So, so now you now now Bob has only got three hundred dollars to get you back, but it's worth seven hundred dollars to you, and he doesn't have the four hundred dollars. What should what should we do with Bob? Well. And and the computer got dropped and it's broken. Well then, in that case, Bob is probably gonna have to be my servant, or pay, um, find some way to pay off that extra four hundred, plus let's say a uh, twenty percent restitution of one hundred forty. You have to pay him. You have to find some way to get five hundred forty dollars. Yeah, because we but got. But wait, if he drops it. He doesn't get the money from the sale, and so he doesn't have any money, and so he has to pay off 840 the total, plus the 20%, making it even worse for him. Right, but so, so you think he should be your slave now, or no? I mean, you definitely have to treat him well. I mean, granted, he needs to. We have slave. rules, and we have rules in Torah about how to treat a slave. I yeah. mean, we have rules for that, but yeah, but, ethics. But, but what we're working on here is yes or no, slave, yes or no. I'll say yes because he he really does need to pay off that money in work. Okay. Right, I'll come back to you in a second, Marley, because Ben had his Benjamin had his hand up first. Come back to you, okay, Benjamin. About that problem with the PC, if he can't pay off his debt, then he has he has no choice but to become his slave. He literally has no other choice. If he doesn't have the money, then he can't. Then he then he has to find another way to. So like, if he didn't have the money and he was supposed to give you like five or ten, ten more of those things, of the PC, and he can't, then he has to get, he has to get, he has no choice but to become a, a slave. So 
for work until until that dead. That dead? No, that dead is your pay. That dead is your pay. But we put people in jail and put your 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 car that got stolen. Let's say, you know, the thief comes. Because we had this happen when I was, um, I think I was uh, 14 or 13 or 14. Somebody stole our car. And they, they never found our car. Um, and, you know, the guy got caught. No, they, they found the car, but it was all busted up. Okay. So, but the guy went to jail. The guy went to jail. So, but I, 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 st I still don't got a car. I got a, you know, even if I have insurance, I got to pay my deductible of $1,000 or $500. So, I got to pay an extra $500 because somebody else stole my car. Why, why is that correct? And he, well, the guy's got to go to jail, but I'm never going to see the money. Why is that? Why is that better than the person becoming the slave? Because that person is not going to... He doesn't have, like, the money for it. So, like, if he got out of, like, jail or something, he he can't pay the, like, the, the, the like, the cars that he owes you. He can't give you the money because he doesn't have the money. And, and I think he has no other choice but to become a slave. Because, because he, he busted up your car and, he's all broken now, but that wasn't his, so he has to... I mean, like, I, we, we had this beautiful car. We had this car, car called this Cutlass Supreme. It was an awesome, awesome car. It was an awesome-looking black car, Cutlass Supreme, and had a big engine, and a big 350-horsepower engine. Mom! Back then, in the, in the 70s, it, was, it had an eight-cylinder engine, and the car would... Vroom, and it was all busted up, baby. And even if we got the car back, it wouldn't. It was all busted. It wouldn't be the same. So why should this guy not have to pay me back and be my slave? Well, if he, if he, so maybe for one, he maybe he didn't have the money. Maybe like that car was like a lot of money. So like maybe. Maybe that car was a lot of money, and he doesn't have that kind of money. He has to be your slave to, to like, until, until, like, to, like, how long does he have to be your, like? Up to six full years, up to six full years. Just to be there for six full years working for you, doing your job, like, doing, like, the thing, like, the chores around here, like, he has to do everything. Because now, let, me ask, let me ask you another question, Ben. Now, I'm going to ask Allie Mae. Allie Mae. Allie Mae. Now, do you think we would, if people knew that they, if they got caught, that they would, and they didn't have the money, they would be, become slaves, do you think we'd have less problems with people, with crime in our nation, Allie Mae? Probably. Probably. That's it, just probably. I think I think we would have less problems. What Why do you think that, Miss Allie May? Because people would know that they had had to become slaves for seven years. And the, the, you don't think they'd like be, being a slave for seven years? <laughs> no. Well, okay. Well, what do you think? What do you think, there, Mar Marley? What do you think? Would you think we'd have less crime in our nation if? Um, if people knew that they were going to be slaves? I mean, for one, no, that is for, Marley. oh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Marley. Of course. Yes. They would, or if they were to steal, then they'd have to be extra careful. What do you mean, extra careful? In case if they get caught, they help, they'll have to be slaves. Okay, now let's look at the next part, guys. Okay, so we've talked about slavery, and this is a good thing, because slavery is good. 
you know, somebody stole my car. Why should I? Why should I have to have a problem? I wasn't doing anything wrong. I just parked my car. We parked our gar- car in in the parking lot, went inside our, our our place that we lived. And the morning we came out, the car was gone. The car was gone. And then my dad loses a day of work, and we have all these other problems. And you know, we lost more than a day's worth of work because then we got to call the insurance company. And they say you got to wait for the police report. And then you got to wait for the investigation. And what are you doing during that whole time? You know, then you're out of car. You got to rent a car. Maybe you don't have money to really rent a car. And then you're taken away from your rent or your mortgage. And everything is because somebody else stole their car. And that's wrong because that's why God said, don't steal. One of the big top ten commandments is don't steal. Jehovah spoke from the mountain to to the Hebrews and Adrian, not only to the to the Hebrew people, to the mixed multitude. The people from South Africa were there also. The Dutch people were there also. Okay, maybe they weren't called Dutch back then. Okay, maybe they weren't called African. They were just called followers of Ham, descendants of Ham. Okay, so here, now the next part, the next part, let's take a look at the next part. Now this is what we talk about for protection. Okay, a thief caught in the act, caught, that means that you catch him in the act of breaking in is beaten to death. It is not murder unless it happens after sunrise, in which case it is murder. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Leah, can you explain verse 2? If a thief is caught um, in the act of breaking in, is beaten to death, it is not murder. I think that means that because the thief... Okay, so if what this, what I think it's explaining is saying that when the thief like is coming right into your, coming right into your house, you are allowed to defend your household. So then you could um like mur- you're not murdering him, you're you're killing him because he he broke into your house. Well, he's in the act of it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ali Mae, what do you think of this? What do you think of verse 2? What do you think of Leia's explanation? Do you think it's correct that we should be able to do this? I I think so. Why do you think so? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes. Did you not have a good night's sleep? I did have a good night's sleep. So why are you giving me these one-word answers? And did you do did you do your job yesterday, Miss Allie May? Yes, I did. And what was the reaction to the three people? They smiled. They smiled. You you you, Miss Allie May, pain in the neck girl, brought a smile to somebody's face. Yeah. You you, Allie May, pain in the neck. Miss R. Brought smile to three people's faces. Yeah. Because you said, God bless you? Yes. Are you going to the store today? Yeah. Okay, you got your job to do. <laughs> Are you okay this morning, Alamey? You know, you're feeling under the weather. Um, I'm, I'm okay. I just <laughs> I don't want to do that job. But you brought smiles to people's faces. Would you rather ring a frown to people's faces? I guess. <laughs> you guess? Well, that's really good for a follower of Yeshua. Yes, I'd like to bring frowns. I want to bring misery to people's faces. Oh, no, I don't. I just get nervous whenever I try to say that. Oh, you guys say, God bless you. And you can even say y'all. Since you're from the South, it works well, your accent. God bless y'all. 
<laughs> Look, Marley's Marley's is saying Marley's saying yes. All right, now let's go back to the, the thing. Thief caught in the act of breaking in is beaten to death. It is not murder, unless it happens after sunrise, in which case it is murder. Lever baloney, Miss Red Red Riding Hood, little of Red Riding Hood. Okay, why can you do it at dark but not during the day unless he's trying to kill you? Because evil evil things happen at night under their evil things happen at night and. And only, at night, only at night? Yes. Also, the darkness represents evil. So every time the sun go, every time the sun goes down, it gets evil. Well, there's like people s stealing sometimes. That people steal at night because that's because they think that's the best time. To stay out night because because everyone's sleeping and there's no one that's awake and they have to get in quietly so so in case the night and everyone's quiet because they're sleeping he gets in at night that's why that's why um they do it at night so you think evil only happens at night. Well, sometimes evil happens in the day, but stealing usually happens in the night. But evil things happen at night under the cover of un under the cover of darkness. Okay, let me see what Yeshua says. Yeshua, what do you what do you think about what Lev said? Okay, Yeshua, what, what do you think? Do you, think, do, you, do you think, why do you think we can't kill the person during the day? If he, what if he still breaks into your house in the day? What if somebody, look behind you, Yeshua, there's a person coming in, there's a man coming in through your window. Ah! <laughs> don't, look, don't look, you'll get scared, there's a big monster behind you. Monster with green hands, he's got slime coming, he's going to take Shmooey. He's going to take the birds. Because they need something to eat. Yeah. They're green. They're green, so they're like plantain. Uh, plantain. Actually, the robins like to come out at the night because it is dark. And they don't like, they like to camouflage in the dark so nobody sees them. They like to come in the dark when nobody sees them. Okay. Well, right, let, let me go over to Mar 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 Marlies. Marlies. Then over to to Allie Mae who had her hand up. Marlies, do, do you think that this is okay? And if somebody breaks in your house at night, you can kill them dead. But if it's daytime, you can't kill them dead. Why do you think Jehovah said that this, if it's daylight if it's after sunrise? Why do you think Jehovah said that you can't kill them dead? No. You don't know? The girl who always has an answer doesn't know? Uh, would you repeat the question again? I... Well, read verse 2 and 3. Read, read to us verse 2 and 3, Marlies. If a, thief, if a thief is caught in the act of breaking and is beaten to, to death, it is not murder unless it happens after sunrise. In which case it is a murder. I think the thief is the this the thief here. Anyways, oh, five point two. Okay, a thief must make restitution. So, if he has nothing, he himself is to be sold with good loss of his from this death. 
So why do you think why do you think Jehovah says that uh that after sunrise you can't beat them you know unless he's trying to kill you then you can defend yourself. Well, there's something over here. Maybe because like 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 Jesus said, bad things happen at night and good things happen at day. Okay. And okay, Allie May, we've stumped Marlies, and then we're gonna go to the next part. Allie May. Well, I think what it means is that. Well, Les said that thieves only come, mostly come at night to steal things. But sometimes, I think that um, thieves come during the day while you're at work, too. They could come at night or while you're at work, because while you're at work is, even, is an even better time to come because you're not even at the house. I mean, when you're asleep. You you can hear them and wake up and go see what it is, but when you're working, they they know you're not at the house, and they can go in and steal all that they can before you get home. So I think what it means is that is that at, at night. Technically, at night, unless you have on a, on lights and stuff, you can't see the thief very clear. And if he's trying to, like, attack you or anything, you can defend yourself. But if it's, if it's after sunrise, then you can see the thief clearly. And if he's not trying to attack you and you kill him just for being in your house, then technically that is murder. Okay, so you wake up in the middle of the night. You usually sleep like you're got bricks on your head. You don't you don't hear nothing you said. Okay, but do you hear a thief in the middle of the night? You go to that safe right behind you. You get your pea shooter out of that safe. Uh. Said I'm gonna fill you full of lead. You get out of my house or I'm gonna fill you full of lead. And the guy says, Ha ha! You don't know you can't shoot the broadside of a barn, Alame. That is not true. And then you fill him full of lead and you shoot him dead. You think it's. So God says that's murder, right? Yes. God says that's murder? After sunrise it is. Well, I but said it was, it was nighttime. Yes. So after, if it's nighttime, then it's not murder. It's just killing him because he's stealing your stuff and trying to attack you. Now, do you think we would have less crime if people knew that this could happen and if they come in the house at night? Yes. So you can shoot them dead? Yes. Okay. All right. So the Lord is saying we can protect ourselves at night. Okay. Especially at night. I mean, the day if somebody's going to shoot you, they're trying to attack you, you can defend yourself. The Torah tells us we can defend ourselves and it's not murder. Now, here, let's go to the next part. We've got a few more minutes left to our class. Now, let's see. Uh, Leah, read verse 4. Shemot 22, verse 4. If what he stole is found alive in his possession, he is to pay double, no matter whether it is an ox, a donkey, or a sheep. So if um, the guy stole a hundred ox, Leia, how many does he have to pay back? He has to pay double. So that would be how many? He, has to pay he has to pay a hundred more. So that would be how many in total? 200. 200. Oh, you're trying to get around it. 200. Hey, Benjamin, if he, stole, if he stole 75 donkeys, how many does he have to pay back? 
Okay, okay, I got it. Wait. Guess to play 150. Whoa, Benjamin cooking with gas. I'm Marley. Marley. If he steals one, uh, he steals 133 donkeys. How many does he have to pay back? Let's see. So times that by seven? Well, what does the scriptures tell us? Oh, pay double. <laughs> so how many does he have to pay back? He stole 133. 133. 266. Oh, very good. Okay, Marlies. He stole... 47 ox. How many does he have to pay back? 94. Whoa. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Puzzle Cube. He stole 1,005 sheep. How many does he have to pay back? 2,010. Oh. Something it doesn't mention, though, but I'm pretty sure that the Jews still kept them. Chickens. Lots and lots of chickens. The chickens are organizing. Yeah, they're organizing a revolution. The revolution! Are, the chickens are organizing, Mr. Tweety. <laughs> I don't want to be a pie. Okay, Allie Mae. <laughs> Allie Mae. He steals 900... And nine sheep. How many does he have to pay back? Nine hundred and nine. Allie Mae. One thousand eight hundred and eighteen. Ooh. Woo. She had smoke coming out of her ears. Woo! Let's see. She's pushing the hair back now, so her hair smells like smoke. Woo! <laughs> All right, Lev. Lev. Somebody stole 27 ox. How many does he have to pay back? He has to pay, uh, hold on. He has to pay 74. Blah, 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 blah. 27. Take another guess. 27. Allie May. Yeshua, you're next. Twenty-seven. Fifty-four. Very good. Yeshua. Yeshua. The man stole seven sheep. How many does he have to pay back? Fourteen. Very good. All right. Arlena. Arlena. The man steals three sheep. How many does he have to pay back? Three plus three is what, Arlena? Three plus three is six. Very good. Very good. Now, think about this, guys. If somebody realized that they would have to pay back double of whatever they stole, whether it's an ox, a donkey, or a sheep. And if they couldn't pay back double, they would be a slave. Most likely, they would take, they would 
not be stealing nearly as much as they're stealing. In 2016, the federal government said that $12 billion, $12 billion worth of things were stolen. $12 billion, and that's just what we know, $12 billion. Now here, in the law of God, the Torah, it says that we have to pay double. Uh, let's see. Ali May, read Revelation 8, verse 6 and 7. Render to her as she rendered to others. Pay her back double for what she has done. Use the cup in which she has brewed to brew her a double-sized drink. Give her as much torment and sorrow as the glory and luxury she gave herself. For in her heart she says, I sit a queen. I am not a widow. I will never see sorrow. Wrong button. Let me go back to the picture of Revelation. Revelation 18 verse 6 and 7. Ali may read it very well. Why do you think Yeshua, who's telling this to John, Yochanan, Yeshua's telling this to Yochanan, you told him to write this down. Puzzle Cube, Mr. Adrian. Why does he say render her double? Pay her back double, Adrian. Um, if she was good to others, then give back to her double. If she gave you ten dollars, maybe give her back twenty. No, she's giving out evil. If she's giving out evil, give her twice as much evil as she was giving to others. Why can why can Yeshua say this? Because she's evil. Why didn't he say back pay her triple? I mean, it's because of the law that was said in Exodus, the Torah. Because of the law? Yeah, the Torah. Oh, so that must mean we're still we're still following the Torah even till the end of time. All right, so this is a good thing, guys. See, God still follows His laws, and we should still follow His our law, His laws. We shouldn't make our own laws. We should follow God's laws. All right, that's the end of our class today. All right, let's see. Arlena had her hand up first. Arlena, are you going to pray for us to close our class? Going to pray nice and loud for us, Arlena? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to pray. Go ahead. Give your life for this day, and give your life for this family, and you let people be safe, and you you be safe, and... And we will text in the Shema Shaman. Amen. Have a great day there.